Then one day I just decided I'm gonna host a retreat and I did it. Welcome back. Today I wanna to share with you how I hosted my very first retreat. I hosted my very first retreat in February of 2017. That means I was only about a year into my coaching business. I started my coaching business in October of 2015 and throughout the year of 2016, I was still essentially trying to ramp things up and get things going. 2016 was also the year that I hit my first five figure month and then I did it again in November and December. And at that point in July, I was like, I wanna host a retreat, and so I did. So I decided to host my very first retreat. One of my goals was to incorporate more travel into my business. I thought, what better way to do that than to actually host a retreat? I didn't know how I was gonna do it. I talked to my business coach at the time, and she mentioned just renting a villa and then you know, planning everything out from there. And so I thought, wow, well, that's actually a really great idea. So I decided not to do a local retreat, and said I decided to go to Puerto Rico. I love visiting Puerto Rico all the time, so I wanted to make that the destination. I went on HomeAway and um, I looked up a villa and researched all of the details and actually found a really nice villa with a balcony view um, where you could see the sunset. It was beautiful. We were able to take photos out there. We did a whole photo shoot and everything, and it was just a gorgeous location. So if you're interested in hosting your very own retreat, if you're a purpose-driven coach, and you want a purpose-driven retreat, then I wanna share with you exactly how I hosted my own retreat. So the first thing that I did was, I obviously I found a location. So I chose where I wanted it to be. I knew that the majority of my coaching clients live in the South. Uh, I do have some clients on the West Coast and some clients like in the New York and uh, in the North area, but for the majority of my clients, they're in the US. Um, I have a lot of clients from Tennessee and Georgia because this is the area where I live. And so I knew that it was relatively inexpensive to fly to Puerto Rico. It was only like $300 for a flight. So I decided that Puerto Rico was gonna be my first location for a retreat. Um, I also knew that you didn't have to get a passport in order to go to Puerto Rico. So I didn't have to worry about giving people too much of an advance notice in case they didn't have a passport. Then I looked for a, uh, an actual house that we could have. And I knew that I wanted a really nice villa. I wanted it to feel kind of like a sleepover versus a retreat where everyone gets their own hotel room. And then, you know, it's more like education plus you have your own hotel room. Like I really wanted it to be really fun and intimate. And I named it the Royal Retreat because I wanted it to also have a very upscale feeling. So the next thing that I did was I thought about how can I really pack this retreat full of value? I decided to hire a private chef. So we had a private chef that came to the house uh, that cooked several of our meals. Um, he was hilarious. He made us laugh while we were there. And it really helped to bring that royal experience into the retreat. Then I thought, okay, well, what else can we do? I don't want us to just be hanging around the house. Like, yes, I'm gonna be teaching. I'm gonna be sharing tips on like how to grow your business and you know how to write webinars and things like that. But I also want us to be able to do something fun. So we had a concierge, I spoke with the concierge and he suggested that we do an evening out and get salsa lessons. And I thought, wow, that's gonna be perfect. So one evening we all went out we had salsa lessons. We had a private dance instructor who came um, to teach all the women how to dance salsa. And um, he stayed with us for the majority of that evening because we were all females there. So it was nice to essentially have like an escort out and um, Puerto Rico and like downtown Puerto Rico, it's a relatively safe place. It's just like almost any major city. And the area is really protective of tourists in general so but it was still nice to have someone there with us so we were able to have a really good time have a private dance instructor instructor <laughs> um, and then we came back to the house and we were able to chill and relax i feel like everyone really got um, had a really good experience from it I was even able to get some video testimonials while we were there with the sun setting. So it was just beautiful, it was gorgeous, I really enjoyed it. The one thing that I did the first year, because it was my first retreat and I wasn't as familiar, that I did different from the second time that I hosted it is this time around, um, when I hosted the second retreat, I made sure that I had a retreat budget. So the first time I really was just trying to get people um, into the retreat and essentially I packaged the retreat 
inside of other coaching packages. That meant that I was getting paid to coach, but then I wasn't necessarily getting paid for the retreat. So the retreat, I believe it did um, break even, but it wasn't as profitable as it should have been or could have been. However, the next time that I hosted a retreat, I made sure that I had a retreat budget. I knew exactly what I needed to charge per person. I kept the retreat charges separate from any coaching that they chose to do. And that way I knew I was getting paid for coaching as well as getting paid for the retreat. So if you're interested in hosting your own retreat and you have any other questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below and I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. Also, if you'd like to join us on an upcoming Royal Retreat, I will also leave details in the description box. We typically go in February. Our locations have been Puerto Rico, as well as Playa del Carmen, Mexico. So if you want to have an opportunity to connect with other business owners who are coaches who are doing the same thing that you're doing, if you'd like more details on that, I will leave details in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye.